So we stayed in the shelter till about 10.30 this morning, uh, just avoiding some of, some of the heavier rainfall. There were flood warnings to the west and south of us where we came from, uh, but we're walking away from where the flood warnings are. So, trail's a little overgrown here. Got a lot of snaggy stuff. Yesterday I caught a thorn in my eye from one of the uh, one of the vines that was hanging down from a tree and uh, I think it hooked into my contact more than my eye so got lucky there but I couldn't like I was pulling my head backwards and couldn't close my eyelid um, everything appeared to be all right this morning I got up and had a little goop in my eye a lot of goop and uh, it kind of scared me first thing this morning I couldn't see out of that eye but I think it was just uh, repairing itself so nothing my, right, my eye isn't like turning red or anything. Uh, I can't see any physical damage. So, got lucky there. Roads keep getting more and more dangerous to cross. It's two o'clock and the rain is petering out. So these boards, when they're wet, uh, get very slippery. Hot stuff and one other hiker have busted their bottoms uh, stepping onto those boards. But we've walked about 990 some miles to get on this roller coaster. And we are entering the roller coaster. I think it's about 14 miles long, according to some other hikers that I was talking to this morning, of ups and downs. So here we go. Okay, this roller coaster is still going up. Thought it was one of those that took you up and dropped you down. Hey, look at this guy. Stay safe on the roller coaster, buddy. Still going up. Still going up. It's rocky. Still going up. More rocks. I think we're at the top. Got more rocks. And we are on our way down. Guess I should throw my hands up and yell, woo! As I figured, the roller coaster is not going to be all fun and games. There's going to be a little bit of work involved here. Got a bunch of ups and downs. And the first two were pretty steep. So, might, uh, might be a workout for the next 14 miles.
thousand miles. A thousand miles, man. A thousand, that's big time. <laughs> Did a thousand. Well, we have a thousand miles behind us. Close to 1,200 more till the finish line. Well, this is the first view out to anything we've seen in days, so there it is. Well, we got white blazes there. Down this trail, we got a white blaze. And down this trail, we got a white blaze. That's the newest looking one, so I guess this way isn't the way. Well, there's not any more white blazes down this way. The other trail did go up. They say on the Appalachian Trail, if it goes up, that's usually the trail. This might be a blaze. An old one, but a blaze in fact it is. So I had a scout troop pass me on the trail at the beginning of the roller coaster and one of the leaders said, hey, am I gonna be able to do Philmont? And they were just getting done with the roller coaster. Well, I've got to say, I'm only halfway done with the roller coaster, and it's kicking my butt after walking a thousand miles. So, yeah, I believe you can go to Philmont and be just fine if you do your shakedown hike on the roller coaster.